how are you doing today? Um, I hope that you're doing super awesome. I hope that the sun is shining on you and you feel all of the good vibes that are coming to you. This next one I'm really excited about. I'm very, very excited about this one. Okay. Can you explain and maybe give examples of the difference between a tripwire, an upsell, a freebie, and a product? Like, do you offer another pop-up for an upsell? Okay. So I had to break out my trusty little notepad here. Oh, there we go. We're doing well. So I uh, did not section off my page very well. That's on me. That's on me. So we have a few different things here. Hey, we're going to hold, please. Let's see if we can do this. Oh my gosh. Caroline is a mess today. All right. Okay. We're going <laughs> to, there we go. This is why I have a messy desk. We're going to cover this bad boy up so that we don't, don't see it yet. Okay. So when we talk about a trip wire, there is a specific kind of like distinction that we need to talk about here. So when we're talking about a tripwire page, it is specific to from a freebie. Once people are on a freebie page and they say, yes, I would love your printable, whatever it is that you're offering. Once they've said submit on that, getting that freebie sent to their inbox, they are then boop, magically taken through the magic of the internet over to a tripwire page itself. It is a different page that people go to. Now, something that, um, well, I mean, I know, I guess everything has this now, not everything that's wrong, but like in thrive cart, this is called a bump. So on the freebie page, you might see a little box down here that'll say, sorry, I got to hold that. You would see a little box down here that says, do you want to add this $997 product for $9 to your order. And all you have to do is boop, click the check box and it'll add it to your order. This is a bump. It is not on a different page. It is on the freebie page. It is a completely optional, take two, optional add on to that. So no matter what, whether they click on this or not, whether they add or elect to give you more money by um, buying your bump, they're still going to see your tripwire. They're still going to be offered your tripwire. They're still going to go over to a different page. And while they're going to this page, their freebie is getting delivered to their inbox. No matter what happens, they're still going to get their freebie. Whether they buy the tripwire or not, they're still going to get a freebie. Now, what you can also do is once somebody has said yes to the tripwire, then there's also an upsell page. Hang on. Which is kind of like a, a Billy Mays moment of like, but wait, there's more. It's like, oh, you liked this? Well, you're going to love this. So that's kind of the way that I picture it. So if they've said yes to the tripwire, then they're going to go to the upsell page. That's a kind of higher level product that's usually like a more expensive product. I'm going to break out another visual aid because this is what we do here. This is your tripwire. This is your upsell. You're saying, hey, do you want this? And your person's going, absolutely, I do. Sign me up. Now, this is something else that's kind of interesting. And I guess this is my, my word of caution. If you are using, um, if you are using Thrivecart, now you don't need to use Thrivecart. I use Thrivecart and I love it. This is one thing that I want to give a word of warning to. And I know you guys have heard me talk about it, but I'm going to say it again because I think it's worth mentioning. So I was on a, a um, I had signed up for a low level product, a low cost product from somebody, from a big blogger, in uh, online business person. Um, I signed up for a product. They said, oh, do you want this? And I said, absolutely, I do. And then they said, do you want this? And I was like, no, I really only came here for this. I was good with this. And now you're saying, do you want this? I'm good with saying no. I have no problem with people like setting up funnels. But here was my word of, of caution was these people must have had, this person must have had 10 upsells and 10 downsells. So if I said no to this, then they'd be like, oh, that's okay. Do you want this? 
And I'd say no to that. And they're like, that's okay. Do you want this? And by the end of like, when I got to the thank you page at the end of this, I was burnt out. I was ready to be like, you know what? I don't want to buy anything from you again. Give me my money back. And I was excited to buy this product. So this, that's kind of just my big word of warning. If we're talking about like upsells and downsells, Thrivecart allows you to have six different upsells and six different downsells. I think that that's a lot personally, but you can make your own decisions, obviously, obviously, but like we have to remember our people. I was done. I was, I was not a happy camper. In fact, I never even opened the thing that I paid for because I was so disappointed in my experience, my user experience with this other blogger. I was so disappointed. So here's the upsell process. Sometimes people try to take you on their entire product ladder in one upsell and downsell process from one product. And some people will do this over like the course of a few days inside of a welcome sequence. Personally, I would choose to do that. But I digress. So if we're talking about a freebie, you can put a bump at the bottom of your freebie page and say, hey, do you want to add this $9,000 product for $9? <laughs> Most people are going to say, yes, I do. No matter what they say down here, they're going to go to a tripwire, which is usually a $5 to $12 product. Personal recommendation is $7 because, again, pricing psychology is fun. And then if they say yes to the tripwire, chances are they're going to say yes to the upsell. It's just another like fun little thing that you can do. But as always, we don't want back to our product ladder. We don't want our products to be too similar or they're not going to understand that they're going up each time. Each time that our product it jumps in price, it also jumps in the level that they will be ascending to to learn about it. Everything comes back to what are they getting out of it? What are they learning from it? So when we talk about like your products and everything, the reason that if you're giving away, and this is, this is only an example that I have because I made this mistake. I have free Canva templates pack that I gave out to people. I also have a te Canva templates pack that is for an upsell. I also have a Canva templates course. I also have another Canva templates and design course. So if I were to put these in front of people or pin templates, everything was pin templates, not just Canva templates, pin templates. If I was to put all of that into a ladder, a sales ladder, people would be very confused. They'd be like, well, no, I don't want that. I just got that. I signed up for the free Canva templates. So telling me that I could get more Canva templates which I'm already getting for free, that doesn't seem like it's going to help me that much. And so they're going to be like, I'll pass. I'll pass. And that's okay. So we have to make sure that we're giving them things that are going to take them to those next levels. So if your freebie is Canva pin templates, your next step should be, you want to learn more about how to use Canva and be your own graphic designer? Buy my masterclass as the tripwire. Oh, you really did like that. Great. How about joining my templates membership where you can get your own templates every single month and you have a Q&A and everything? Oh, you like that? Well, how about the mega course on everything about designing? You should really get that too. See how it's taking them up as they go. It's not just increasing the price to increase the price. It's step one, step two, step three, step four, and so on and so forth. So that's kind of like when we're talking about these tripwire and upsell pages, it's not just the same product basically at a different price point. You have to take them to the next step each time you're offering them a new product. So that is that. That's everything for the, uh, the freebie part. Hang on. Okie dokie. And then got to finagle this guy around a little bit here. Let's see what else. That'll work, right? Will this work? Maybe. Okay. So when we are talking about like, what can you do? 
there we go. What can you do to make more on your product checkout? So when we're talking about a product, a product is a paid for item that you are charging some money for. Does It doesn't need to be a course. It doesn't need to be a video. It doesn't need to be a masterclass. It can be anything. It can be you're literally asking people to pay you money just because you feel like it if you really want to. But that's what a product is, is the exchange of currency for something. Um, so does it need to be a course? No. Does it need to be an ebook? No. It can be whatever you want it to be. So on your checkout page for your product, something that you can do to increase the cart value, which is how much people spend inside of your shop, is to add a bump. Again, this is a nice little like, hey, I see that you like this product while you're here, just because you're my super special people, you can also get this bump, which I usually charge $9,000 for, but you get it for nine bucks. Whoop, whoop. And so that's a nice little thing that you can do. It's an easy yes offer. This is essentially taking the place of a tripwire. It's a pretty low cost bump. It's a pretty low cost thing to add because they're already going to be giving you money Hold, please. There we go. They're already, they're already going to be giving you money because this is a checkout page. They're already going to be giving you money no matter what to go on to the next page. So I like to add a bump. I do because again, the psychology is such that when people are in the mood of saying yes to you, they're really in the mood of saying yes. So you want to capitalize off of that by giving them something that is still going to help them. That's getting them a super special deal, super easy to say yes to, and it's going to help them. And it's another thing that they can do. And all they have to do is boop, 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 check that little box and it'll be added to their order. Then what you can do, and again, most of this is kind of like the way that I set this, sorry, the way that I set this up is the way that it's set up inside of Thrivecart. Personal recommendation, I love Thrivecart as far as like setting up funnels, making sales pages, um, making it easy for people to give you more money. There it is. Um, so once they've already said yes to this, whether they say yes to the bump or not is irrelevant. If they've bought your product, they're then going to go over to another page where they will see a box that says, do you want to add whatever next step product to your order? And all they have to do is click yes or no. And this is where, again, you have a, it's like a super short mini sales page. You have a very short, very short little period of time and a small place where you're going to be able to say to people, hey, do you want to add something else? Do you want to go not just from step one to two, but from step one to step five? That's what you can do with this upsell. So your tripwire, if we're talking about like from the, the free, we're going to go back over here. If we're talking about like the freebie to a tripwire to an upsell, we're also talking about product to bump to upsell. And every different platform has different words for it. Um, I've heard people call tripwires one-time offers, um, easy yes offers, special sales. I've heard all of them. And there's no right or wrong answer as to like what they're called or what they should be or whatever. All that it really matters is you're giving your people, you're giving your people another opportunity to go up this ladder. We have to trust that our people are ready to ascend the ladder, not just to ascend our product ladder, but to go to those next steps. Um, way, way back in the day, I'd heard a lot of people talking about like, you have to make sure that you treat your people with kid gloves. You have to, you can't give them all of these steps and the ability to buy whatever they want from your products right away, because who could handle that? And that just never really sat right with me because again, everybody's at a different place in their journey. When somebody comes into your world, when this is a brand new person who's coming into your world, they might be ready for step 10. Like normal people will have to go from step one and stay there for a month and then go to step two and stay there for a month. If your person's like, no, 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 I've already done steps one through six. I need the next step now. I need it now. I can't wait until it goes on sale, whatever. And so that's where you can, that's where you 
having these abilities for your people to ascend your product ladder in inside of your front end funnel, which is literally just this. That's a fancy way of saying from freebie to tripwire to upsell from product to bump to upsell. That's all that it is, is saying you're ready. Your people, your people are ready to go. Are your people ready to go? Do you have enough products to help them be ready to go if they are? So that's what we want to do is make sure that we are giving our people the ability to ascend a product ladder, to do what they want to with their stuff and their time and their money and their energy, whatever it is, and to learn the lessons that they want to, to get where they want to go. Um, because again, we never know where people are or what they're capable of. I like to believe that my people are capable of anything. And so if I put something in front of them, they'll be ready for it. When people ask about like, what is a, an upsell? An upsell could be a tripwire, like depending on which way you look at it, or it could be a bump. And like, what is a bump? Well, it could be an upsell. Like I don't put a whole lot of stock in, in the words that every, everyone's using. Like, I don't think that that's like a, a, you must have a bump. It's like, but a bump is an upsell. So yeah, <laughs> don't stress out about the vocabulary is what I'm really getting at here. All right, guys. So thank you so much for sending in all of your questions. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Let me know. I'm here to help. And thank you guys so much for being here. It is awesome to see you. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.